Now we're diving into a chilling relic of the Cold War era, ominously known as the nuclear coffin. So buckle up, because this is going to be a wild ride. Hidden in the remote reaches of the Pacific Ocean, on Runit Island, part of the Enuatak Atoll in the Marshall Islands, lies a concrete monstrosity. It's a dome, 377 feet in diameter and about 1.5 feet thick, holding the radioactive remnants of 67 atomic bombs. Between 1946 and 1958, the US detonated these bombs on the Bikini and Enuatak atolls during the height of the Cold War. The Marshall Islands were chosen due to their low population and isolation from major shipping lanes. The first bomb was dropped in 1946, and over the next five years, eight more bombs were detonated near the Enuatak and Bikini atolls. But today, our nuclear coffin is not faring so well. Recent studies have shown that the dome is now riddled with cracks, thanks to the rising temperatures in the Pacific. The rising sea levels have also allowed more water to reach the dome, eroding its structure. If this deterioration continues, the radioactive material could potentially leak into the surrounding soil and waters. But hey, no big deal, right? It's just the environment. Ken Busler, a renowned expert on marine radioactivity, has stated that as long as the plutonium remains under the dome, it won't be a significant new source of radiation to the Pacific Ocean. However, he also stressed the need for regular monitoring and clear communication with the affected communities. This sentiment was echoed by two scientists from Columbia University who called on the US Congress to fund independent research and develop an emergency plan. So the fate of the nuclear coffin remains uncertain, a chilling reminder of the lasting impact of nuclear weapons and the potential consequences of climate change. But hey, out of sight, out of mind, right?